We have a new Strumzy release, 036, and as always, we will have a closer look at what's new. This release is packed with features. It has over 170 PRs from over 25 contributors. This release supports Kubernetes 121 and newer. So Kubernetes 1.19 and 1.20 are not supported anymore. The last Kubernetes version with which we tested this release was Kubernetes 1.27, which at the time of the Strumzy release was the last stable Kubernetes release. In Strumzy 036, we support three different Kafka versions, 3.5.0, 3.4.1, and 3.4.0. We expect that the support for Kafka 3.5.1 will be added later in a patch release. Kafka 3.5 uses a new version of Zookeeper, which seems to be very sensitive to the quality of your Kubernetes DNS. So if you experience any problems, please let us know. One of the main new features in this release are the Kafka node pools. Kafka node pools allow you to create different groups of Kafka nodes, which have different configurations. For example, different storage, or resource and request limits. This feature is currently protected by the Kafka node pools feature gate and is disabled by default. But you can enable it and give it a try. Another new feature is the unidirectional topic operator, which is the next generation of the Strumzy topic operator. It does not require Zookeeper connection anymore and it removes the bidirectional synchronization to reduce complexity and improve the quality. That means that any Kafka topics created directly in the Kafka cluster will not be automatically created as a Kubernetes resources as well. The unidirectional topic operator is backwards compatible with the existing Kafka topic custom resources to simplify the migration. It is also protected by a feature gate called unidirectional topic operator and currently it's disabled by default. In the coming days, We'll have more blog posts and videos to cover both the unidirectional topic operator as well as the Kafka node pools. There are also many improvements to running Kafka in the craft mode without the Zookeeper cluster. The new features in this release include support for Scrum SHA and OAuth authentication, support for dedicated controller nodes using the Kafka node pool feature, or support for topic operator using the unidirectional topic operator feature gate. Keep in mind that the craft support is still not production ready and there are many important features still missing in both Apache Kafka and Strimzy. There are also many other changes. Our Helm charts are now available as OCI artifacts. There are new versions of the Strimzy HTTP bridge and of the Strimzy OAuth library. Many dependencies were updated and there are many other smaller improvements and bug fixes. For the full list, please check out our release page. And that's it for this release. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter and star us on GitHub.